the value suppose in 20 okay 30 and 40 and here the last value is null so here the address of the first node is 100 address of the second node is 200 address of the third node is 300 and address of the fourth node is 400 now what is the address here so what is our header one header header is 100 header is 100 header. and header link part is 200 200 here link value is 300 here link part is 400 so this is my link list now we want to count the total number of nodes of any link list okay so first we need to write the name of the algorithm suppose algorithm and name of the algorithm any name you can give suppose count underscore total well, nodes okay count underscore total nodes now tell me what we know till now what we know we have one algorithm uh, one uh, link yeah, list and we know the header okay so what the parameter we need to pass here only the header what is header header is nothing but the address of the first node okay so header represent the address of the first node so it is called header now we need to count the to total number of nodes of any link list so to count we need to declare one variable suppose count okay and initialize the count equals to zero okay now we need to traverse from this first node to the last node and increment the count plus one okay am i right hello okay increment the count plus one so how to traverse tell me how to traverse y from equals the header y we y need not to declare one not. variable y and we initialize y by header so we can write y equals to header so what is the value of y now what is the value of y uh, now? 100 100 because header value is 100 so y value is now 100 now <coughs> so here um, we can write count okay count equals to count plus one we increment the count by one and now we need to move from this node to this node okay so initially here count equals to zero okay and y equals to header then count equals to count plus one so now count value is one okay now i want to move from this node to the next node how to move from from one node to another node tell me what is the address of the next node 200 200 how to move from this node to this node what is this node this node is y so what is the link part of y you can see the link of y contain the address of the next node so link of y is 200 so this 200 is my new node new y so this is my y we can make it as a y so y variable always contain the current node address y variable always contain the current node address okay so now you can see previously it was y so link of y is 200 so 200 is my new y so this is my new y now again increment the count value count equals to count plus one 
so what is the count value here count equals to 2 okay now link of y what is link of y what is the value of link of y hello 300 300 so this 300 is my new y this 300 is my new y so we can write this 300 is my new y so y now represent this node so what is the y value now 300 okay so again count increment by 1 what is the count value here count equals to 3 okay so so that's why we need to write while loop okay so when we terminate what is the condition we need to write here what is the condition we need to write here tell me why is not null why is not null when y value is null okay so that means we move from this node to the last node so this node address is null okay from this node to the next node then we stop okay so after the last node if we move from after the last node then only we stop so that's why we need to write y not equals to null okay is it clear to everyone yes okay now next algorithm insert a node okay so now i'm going to write one another algorithm okay write an algorithm to insert a node to insert a node which data insert a node which data value is b okay which data value is b at the end of a single linked list so we have one node we have one linked list and we need to insert a node whose data value is p at the end of a single linked list okay so that means Okay, we have one linked list. Suppose ten, twenty, thirty, and forty. So these are the address of each node. Okay, these are the address of each node. Now we create so write an algorithm to insert a node. Which data value b? Now we need to write algorithm. Okay, algorithm. In any of the algorithm, anything you can write. Suppose insert at end. Okay. Now, what are the parameter we need to pass? Tell me what we know. What are the parameters we need to pass? What do we know till now? Sir, we know the data value. 
we know the header okay always we know the header what is header header is 100 so header is the address of the first node we know the header and what is second parameter what we know number of nodes not number of nodes how do you know number of nodes so we can calculate them. we can calculate the, the, the data value yes the value of the new node the value of the new node is b so b is a variable which can be any value maybe 50 60 70 80 90 okay so we know the header the base the address of the first node and second we know the value of the new node next what is our first task if you want to insert a node at the end of any link list what is our first task what is our first task? to the last end of the no before that before Sir. that yes Ek la, node ko last task yeah, insert karna hai. First what is our first task? task? Kya karna hoga? To create a new node first. Yes, first we have to create a new node. First we have to create so a new node. First to find a... Okay. Suppose we have first we have to create a new node. Then only we can insert that node at the end of any link list. Okay. First we have to create a new node. Suppose new node name is P, okay? The address is 500. So P is nothing but the address of this new node, okay? So we can write P equals to get node. So get node function is used to create a new node get node function is used to create a new node okay so using malloc function you can create a new node so new node is p what is p p is nothing but the address of the new node then what is our next task first you have to create a new node then next tell me what is our next task Now go to the position no. that we have uh, to before that. Insert. Or insert the data. Insert the data B in this position P, in the link data part of P. So here we will insert the data B. That means B can be any value. Any suppose if it is this link list, each node contain integer value. So B is an integer value. If each node contain any character value, B any character value. B, each node contain any string so b any string if each node contain floating type value so b any floating type value so b can be anything we have just write a generalized algorithm so you can write insert a node at uh, integer link list or floating type link list or sing, uh, string string list okay anything now tell me how to write how to insert b in this data part of p what we you have, have to write data equal to b yes data of p okay data of p we need to insert b okay data of p means data part of p here we insert the value b up to this clear yes okay. sir now what is our next task sir we know the header address sir we know the new node what is our next task our aim to insert this node at the end of the link list okay we want to establish this connection we want to establish this connection okay we want to establish this connection how to establish this connection what is the what we need to know first We, till now we know the header and the new node okay we create a new node but we want to link with the last node so what is what we need to know address of last node yes we need to know the last node where is the last node 
okay we need to know the last node we need to reach up to the last node then only we can link this one we can establish this link till now we know the first node so we can write we need to traverse so we can write y equals to header okay we can write y equals to header because we need to traverse from first node to the last node we need to traverse from first node to the last node so we need to write y equals to header now we need to traverse from this to this so what we need to write here tell me link of y so y equals to link of y while which condition you need to write here so here you can see what is the value here 200 what is the value here 300 what is the value here 400 okay so y link of y what is link of y this is y this node is y what is the link part of y 200 so 200 is my new y so this is my new y so y represent now this node now what is link of y link of y is 300 so 300 is my new y so y now represent this node okay so that's why we have written here y equals to link of y but we need to stop when at the end here we need to stop okay where we need to stop so what condition you need to write what is the condition we must write we need to y, y not equal to null if we write y not equals to null in previous case where we stop if we write y not equal to null if we write y not equals to null when y value is, when y represent this y not equals to null means this when this condition is false when y value is null so here you can see y value is null okay after why the link is list not after the link list y value is null so here we stop this loop okay this is the termination condition when this loop terminate when y value is null so you can see this link list from this to this but when this link list uh, when this loop stop when the y represent this node but in this case we need to stop here in pre, uh, last node at the last node here we need to stop so what we need y to link write? not equal to none yes link of y not equals to null link of y not equals to null so here you can see okay okay so initially what is the y value y value is header y equals to header so y value is 100 link of y is null what is link of y what is the value link of y 200 200 so 200 is my new y so 200 is my new y now check link of y is null what is link of y no 300 sir. Sorry. so 300 is my new y so if link of y not equals to null link of y not equals to null enter into the loop now link of y my new y so this 300 is my new y now check again link of y is null no which is 400 so enter into the loop now link of y is my new y so what is link of y link of y is 400 so this 400 is my new y so this is my new y now link of y is null yes or no yes sir yes so we need to stop so you can see here why this variable y okay indicate this last node why variable indicate the last node and that is our aim we need to point that which one is the last node among this four node okay so y now represent this last node 
now we need to what is uh, what is our aim we need to establish this link okay we need to establish this link how to establish the link between y and p tell me what we need to write we want to establish the link between y, y and p. y of link equals uh, so link of y so here address. here we need to put the address which address we need to put here what address we need to put here 500 500 if we put here 500 then automatically this link will established okay if we put 500 here then this link will established so what we need to write for that what is the this part what is this part y of link link of y yes link of y so here we can write link of y equals to address of p address of p means p present its own address okay so link of y equals to p so p what is p p nothing but 500 so 500 where we put 500 y ka link part me so link of y here we put 500 now this link established okay now which one is the last node sir p p and each any single link list last node there is one property what is the link part of p null null, null. we need to put here null we need to put here null link part of p here we put null so what we need to write link of p equals to null okay so this is the algorithm to insert a node at the end of any link list any question any doubt sir what is get node equals to get node is, is to create a new node okay when you write a program you can write uh, suppose stack node star malloc uh, okay n into size of stack node or if you want to create one node okay so generally okay generally suppose when we write in our algorithm suppose this is a node y okay y represent the address here we insert the value 100 okay now we create a link list okay so here suppose uh, 20 here value 30 here 200 here address is 400 here address is 500 okay so here it holds the address of the next node 400 here we hold the address of the next node 500 so when in our algorithm if you want to write a program from any algorithm suppose from this algorithm so first you know data of y in algorithm we are, we are writing like this data of y when you write in a program you need to write like this y arrow data okay and we write link of y what is link of y value now 400 okay 400 we write in our program is like this y arrow link okay so we can create a structure struct the name of the data type suppose node so we create a data type name node here it use a variable data which store any integer value okay so we declare a data type to represent a node so each node data part contain an integer value so int data and this is the link part this link part okay it holds the address 
so that means it is a pointer that means it is a pointer okay and each node link part hold the address of the next node suppose if we write in pointer p what is the meaning p is a pointer which hold the address of any integer data similarly this part contain the address of the next node so next node also is this type the data type is same so that's why you can write struct node pointer thing so this is called self referential pointer okay this is called self referential pointer so this is the data type of my node now we create node okay how to create node suppose struct node we can create suppose pointer p okay we want to create a first node pointer p so we can write p equals to what is the data type name struct node then pointer malloc how many node we create only one first we have to create one node p so n value is 1 1 into size of struct node okay so this is my get node function within the get node function we need to create a new node so here malloc function return the address of the new node and it will stored where within this variable p so here p variable suppose we declare a variable p here okay suppose here uh, declare any variable suppose we create a node p okay and here p variable address is suppose 700 okay so malloc function return the address of the new node and it is stored within this variable p so malloc function return the address of the new node 700 and 700 is the address of p so p is nothing but 700 okay now we want to insert a data here in this position suppose here we insert a data suppose 60 okay so what we need to write data of p you can write data of sorry p arrow data okay p arrow data equals to 60 okay similarly you can create another node okay so it will discuss in the lab madam will discuss in the lab okay so this is in this so we can create this get node function okay get node function is used to create a node and malloc function return the address of the new, new node and it is stored within this variable p up to this clear yes sir any question any doubt sir in the last slide if we don't uh, write link of p is null even then the link will be null yes if we create only one link then here you can put a one node so here we can put null okay if you want to put here null very good question so what we need to write p arrow to link equals to null okay so we create only one node p and here p link part may link of p equals to null link of p equals to null okay so this is p this is link of p how to write link of p p arrow link here we put then value null next we can create another node q and then insert the link of p equals to q you can write okay any doubt no sir okay 
so i am writing in, in, in very easiest way so that you can write your any algorithm very easily or you need not to mug up okay you can just remember this two things so data of p means data part of p and link of p means link part of p link of y means link part of y link of p means link part of p and when you write any program in c you need to remember this one this is the algorithm format and this is the program in program you need to write in this way an algorithm you can write in this way data of y in algorithm data of y means in program y arrow data link of y means y arrow link now next one is okay insert a node at beginning of a linked list insert a node with data value b okay at beginning of a linked list insert a node with data value b at beginning of a linked list at beginning of a linked list so that means we have one linked list so these are the values of each node suppose address is like this now insert a node at the beginning of a linked list okay so you can write the algorithm algorithm suppose name of the algorithm what i have choose insert at beginning okay insert at beginning once you draw the diagram you can write your own algorithm okay insert at beginning so what are the parameter we know till now we know the rent b header okay we know the header the address of the first node and also we know b what is b which is nothing but the data of the new node now what is our first task to insert the node at the beginning yes creating a new node first we have to create a new node first we have to create a new node okay so new node is suppose p first we have to create a new node so we can write p equals to get node okay p equals to get node we have to create a new node suppose new node address is suppose 700 next what is our next task enter data into the new node insert the data p at this node p okay so data of p equals to b b can be any value so this is a integer here data part is integer so b may be 10 20 30 any value here okay next suppose this is uh, here the value is suppose uh, b value is suppose uh, 10 next we need to establish a link between these two okay we established a link between these two we insert this node at the beginning of the linked list we need to establish a link between these two okay so now tell me what we need to write here how to link link p is equal to header yes link of p so here we put the address of the header 
So then we established this link. Here we put the address of the header. Address of the header is 100. Then we establish this link. Okay. So we can write link of P equals to header. Link of P equals to header. Now after link this, which one is the first node? What is the first node? P. What is the first node? So uh, then we need to change the header. Now, which one is the header? P. 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 Does always represent the address of the first node? So now this is not my header. So my header is now P. Any question? Abhrajit, Aditya, any doubt? No, sir. Sanket, no, no, sir. Hansika, Hertz, or no? No, sir. Okay. Abhirup, Sayed, Rupal, Rubon, Robin, Sattam, Shruti. No, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you. No, sir, no doubt. Now, next one. If you have no doubt, then tell me how to concat or merge. Concat or merge to single link list. Okay, how to concat or merge two single link list? Suppose you have one link list here. Now, So this is our first link list. We represent the header of the first link list as header one. The first link list, this is a second link list. The address of the first node of the second link list is header two. Now we want to concat or merge. Okay. We want to merge. That means this link list first node here, this one. Okay. That means this is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700. Now, what is header 1 value? What is the value of header 1? 100. 100. And what is the value of header 2? 500. 500. Now we want to merge. Okay. So, 
here we need to write the algorithm margin name of the algorithm margin linked list you can write any name okay which one is suitable now what are the parameter we need to pass here to march to single so, node yes header one header two header one header two right very good header one and we know header two now how to join so first link list this is the first link list this is the second one so first link list last node contain the address of the second link list first node then only we can march or concate so what we know what we need to know first we need to know the first link list last node okay we need to identify the first link list last node how to identify how to identify the first link list last node y equal to header 1 so first y we need to write we declare y, y so we need to traverse to find out the last node of the first link list we declare y equals to header 1 so y equals to header 1 so header 1 is nothing but the address of the first node so y value is 100 now now how to traverse from this node to this node while y while is not equal y is not equal to y so y equals to link of y okay y equals to link of y so link of y is my new y so this is y what is link of y value link of y value is 200 here 300 here 400 okay so link of y is 200 so 200 is my new y so this is my new y okay so the how do we know so what is the termination condition when we stop when we reach at the last node when we reach at the last node so how do we know which one is the last node what link is the property is not equal to null yes link of y you can see the last node link part is null we need to find out the last node so link of y not equals to null until link of y not equals to null we move from one node to another node so initially this is y link of y is null no enter into the loop link of y what is link of y 200 200 is my new y so 200 is my new y now link of y is null not equals to null yes link of y is 300 So three hundred is my new y. So this three hundred is my new y. Now link of y not equal to null. Yes, link of y is four hundred. So then link of y. What is link of y? Four hundred. Four hundred is my new y. So this is my new y. Now link of y not equal to null. No, this condition is now false because link of y is null. so we find out that y now represent the last node of the first link list now we established this link we established this link how to establish this link tell me link of y is equal to yes link of y so here we put the address of the next link list mean second link list Header yes sir means five hundred. Here we put the address five hundred. Okay, here we need to put the address five hundred. Okay, here we need to put the address five hundred. Then only we can we can establish this link. So what is five hundred? Five hundred is nothing but the header two. So link of y y link part me link of y here we put header two. So here we can write link of y equals to header two. Okay, then we close our 
আমার অ্যালগরিদম এনি কোশ্চেন ভেরিয়েবলাই then you need to link y not equals to null okay so what we need to write in program y arrow link not equals to null okay then you need to write y equals to y arrow link then y arrow link equals to header 2 okay in c you can easily implement this the next class also we discuss some other algorithm okay suppose uh, insert at specific position or insert after a specific node suppose we insert a node whose data value is 30 so this node data value is 30 after that node we want to insert a node or we want to insert a node at second position so in this linked list this is the first position this is the second node so here we insert a new node then this node becomes the third node after insertion So we'll discuss in the next class. Anybody is facing problem in the data structure? No, sir. Other students? Samarth, Vidyun, Amisha, Suraj? No, sir. Because this subject is very, very important. Devanjan, Sammantu, Devolina? No, sir. Okay, fine. I am trying to teach you that you can write any type of linguist algorithm itself. Okay. So, attendance please, rule number 101. One zero one absent. One one nine. One four eight. Present, sir. One six five. Present, sir. One six eight. Two sir Sahu. Two zero five. Two zero five. Two zero seven. Two one three. Present sir. Two two seven. Two two seven. Two two nine. Present sir. Two nine four. Present sir. Three one eight. Present sir. Three two zero. Present sir. Three five three. Present sir. Four seven nine. Present sir. One nine one. Present sir. 